I love my sister, but I try not to think about her because when I do think about her, I can't control my tears and my emotions. Family of 53-year-old Brenda Lee Rolf coming together for a vigil today in memory of their loved one. Her sister's telling us they do not want police or the public to forget about what they endured when they say officials failed to properly notify them of her death last December. That incident and similar complaints about the unrelated fatality of Lauren Smith Fields triggered official probes into the deaths. Both cases brought to light by News 12 Connecticut's Frank Recchia, who broke the stories. I don't blame them because it's a lot going on. COVID, the war in, in Ukraine, um, other shootings. There's a lot of shootings going on, mass shootings. And we want to do this to make sure people don't forget. Don't forget my sister, Brenda Lee Ross. The day she died, we still have the same questions pending and we're still waiting on answers for those. And we just want to remember her. She was a very beautiful, happy person. It's 10 seconds, shot. Both deaths resulting in protests and national media attention. Rawls family telling us they still don't have the answers they want in their loved one's death.